SEO takes too much time to do it manually. And if you wanna automate a big chunk of your SEO work, you don't need to break the bank to do it. Over the last 16 years of being an SEO, I figured out the right tools to use to help you rank number one on Google. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to share my seven favorite free SEO tools that'll help you get on page one of Google. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, make sure you click the alert notification. Now, before I dive into the tools, I'm gonna to break down them into three main categories. They're gonna be keyword research, then I'm gonna go into link building, and then technical SEO. So the tools will fit into one of those three categories. So let's first start with keyword research. The first tool I have for you is FAQ Box. Most people think only as keywords instead of thinking of problem. See, when someone's doing a search on Google, they're not just typing in something because they want some entertainment. Sure, that happens sometimes, but a large portion of the searches happen because people are looking for solutions to their problem. When someone's looking for a new phone, chances are they're not satisfied with their old phone. When someone's looking up a math equation, chances are they don't know the solution, hence they're looking it up. FAQ Fox finds you questions that people want to be answered based on specific sites that you want information from. You can search questions on popular sites like Reddit, Quora, Yahoo Answers, or any other site out there in your industry. The second tool that I have for you is Uber Suggest Keyword Ideas. Uber Suggest has recently expanded its database from being a simple keyword tool where it has just basic terms, seed terms like marketing, to now over 1.2 million suggestions per keyword. In other words, it now has a lot of long tail queries. It also has comparison keywords, question-based keywords, prepositions. All these will help you find the right keywords that people are typing in that'll help you get more leads and more sales. My favorite feature within the keyword ideas report is a comparisons report. And the reason being is it'll give you all the keywords that are comparison based. Typically when someone's searching for comparison based keywords, such as MailChimp versus convert kit, they've already determined that they're going to make a purchase. The question is what solution are they going to make? Now with Uber suggest, it also shows you the search volume, the paid difficulty, the organic difficulty, and it even shows you all the other sites that are ranking as well as how many backlinks they have as well as social shares. The second category of tools I have for you are related to link building. One of my favorite tools out there is a Moz bar. When it comes to backlinking, getting links from high quality sites will do way better for you than just getting average links from low quality sites. So the more authority that these sites have and the more relevant they are, and when they link to you, it's gonna do way better than let's say if Joe the Plumber linked to you. See, with the Moz bar, whenever you visit any website, it'll tell you their domain authority and their page authority. It's great to know which sites you should be focusing on when it comes to your link building versus which sites you need to ignore because it's just not worth the time and effort. The next tool I have for you is Backlinks by Ubersuggest. It's another great tool. All you have to do is go to Ubersuggest, type in a URL, click on the backlinks button in the left navigation. When you do that, you'll see the backlinks report. It'll tell you the domain score of the site. It'll tell you the authority of all the URLs linking to that site. It'll even tell you the anchor text, the link growth over time, how many new links are getting over each and every single day and how many links are losing each and every single day. You'll even see anchor text. You'll even see things like how many nofollow links a website has versus do follow, when these links first came to that site, when they link out. You'll see when the link is also lost the exact date. In other words, it'll tell you everything you need to know to figure out the right hit list to build more links from. Now, what I mainly use the Uber Suggest Backlinks report for is typing in my competitor URLs, seeing what pages on their site are popular, what's getting the most links, and I typically start from there because then I can create content that's similar to that, reach out to all of those people and ask them to also link back out to my website. The third category of tools I have for you are related to technical SEO. So let's start with the Penguin tool. Did you know that Google makes roughly nine updates a day? That's 3,285 updates in just one year. How can you keep up with all those updates? Well, the answer is the Penguin tool. 
I know that's a funny name. They're taking Penguin and Panda and merging it together. But this tool will tell you when you're going to get hit by an algorithm and your traffic went down or up, what update it was. So that'll give you ideas on how you can recover. This is a great tool to start with because a lot of people are like, huh, my traffic went down. It went up. What's wrong? Well, you could go and just read all the articles around the web, which takes a lot of time and try to dissect what's happening. Or you could just use this tool and it's free. The next tool I have for you is Structured Data Markup Helper. Look, if you want to maximize your voice traffic, because over 50% of the searches now are voice based, this will help. If you want things like rich snippets, if you want those star ratings, you need Structured Markup. Using this tool will help you get there so that way you can increase your click through rates and your overall traffic, as well as optimize your site for the mobile experience. The last tool I have for you is the SEO Analyzer. Now, this is also another feature within Ubersuggest. You can type in a URL, go to the site audit report in the left-hand navigation. It'll give you a full-blown report of all the pages on your site, your load time, what errors there are, what recommendations are, what you need to fix first to maximize your traffic. It even breaks it down on what's going to have the biggest impact and what's the easiest to implement. It scans every single page on your website. And the beauty of it is, it scans all your pages every single week. So each week, you'll get an updated email on new errors that are found or new things that you need to fix. And when you do fix the errors, it keeps track of that as well. And it shows you when your traffic's going up or down or what you need to do to maximize your traffic even when algorithm changes happen. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you need help growing your search traffic, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll make sure and answer it and help you out. Thank you for watching.